It's only by the message of God that we stand alive today. And I'd like to welcome all of you to another edition of the 11th hour prayer time. And not just another edition, but the last one for this year. How God has been so good to us. Oh, I thought it was a good place to put your hands together. The Lord has been faithful. And we want to thank him and bless him for his goodness. Hallelujah. Well, call a friend, call your neighbor, call your family member. Call somebody. Tell them to join in the 11th hour prayer time. Tonight is the last one for the year. And uh, we're just thanking God. That is all we are doing. Thanking God for his goodness. Thanking God for his mercies. Thanking God for his favor. Thanking God for his grace and strength that has brought us this far. We are blessing him. And we are giving all the praise. I'm Bishop Eddie Fabian. And I'm so glad that you decided to join me as we round up this year. Hallelujah. Well, there's a scripture I just want to read. It's in Psalm 116. And a very beautiful scripture. It says that David said in verse 1, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. You know, when you read further in verse 12, David asks a question. He said, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? For all his benefits towards me. There are many benefits that God has given to us throughout the year, whichever way you look at it. But I love it in Psalm 68 and verse 19. It says that blessed be the Lord. He said, who has, he said, he has loaded us daily with benefits. So maybe you did not see it, but every day throughout this year, God was loading you with benefits. He was loading you with benefits. Just like how you load your mobile phone with credits, and sometimes somebody blesses you with some money on your mobile phone. God also, every morning, he loads your, your whatever with blessings and benefits. And he said, in verse 20, he said, for unto you belongs the issues from death. You know, the New American Standard Bible says that unto you belongs escapes from death. So in other words, God has been helping us to escape death up to now. But you did not know about it. And that is why tonight we want to bless him and thank him that he has helped us to escape. The psalmist said, if he had not been for the Lord on my side, in Psalm 124, he said, where would we be? He said, would have been a prey to the teeth of the enemy. He said, but thank God that our souls have escaped out of the snare of the fowler. So you escaped out of the snare of the fowler, out of the traps of the enemy. It's enough reason to give him thanks. We're going to be looking at more benefits and thanking God. But this one alone, that you have escaped death, that you are alive today, you can see me, you can join me, is enough reason to bless him. Lift up your voice and just begin to thank God and worship him and give him praise. He deserves it today. Thank him right now. Rama kasula katabrande. She baba baba la kasula katabra kasula bande. Yes, Lord, we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. For Lord, you deserve it, O oh God. For you being the one that has helped us. Thank you for daily benefits from the first of January up to now. And you're going to continue to the end of this year. Father, we say thank you. Daily, without fail. Daily. That is why your word says we should, we should pray for our daily bread. Father, we thank you that daily benefits were our portion. You loaded us with it. Daily bread, daily mercies. For your mercies are new every morning. Father Lord, I thank you. I bless you. What a benefit. What a benefit I have in you, O oh God. Kola ma sandeni kashola brande shebreke sula katabranko sambande kre mokonda. Biba baba bande konsa talabande de kre zonande shamba nada kasule katoria sandere mrena. We thank you, O God. We bless you for escapes from death, O God. Escapes from death, O God. For the enemy had traps for us. The enemy had plans to take us away and to take away our life before it's time. But Lord, thank you that you did not give us up, O oh God, to the mouth of the enemy, to the teeth of the enemy. But you caused us to escape. Thank you for your angels that you gave charge, a special charge over us, to watch, watch over us and to keep us throughout the day, that we will not dash our foot against a stone, that we will be kept alive. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. 
Manei, manei, mana, manei na. Rebene ne mene ne kusa. Tori asambe ke italiano. Shobro koduno ki masika na meka. Tori asambe ka. Bayona badeke. Mikandori asile kataria. Rama kandori asambadori amashanda. We worship you. We worship you. We praise you, Lord. We thank you, O God. We escape in January. We escape in February. We escape in March. We escape, O God, in April and in May and in June and in July and August and September and October, November. And look at us here in December. Oh, yes, we know that you will begin a good work with us. You're going to see us through to the very end. Thank you, O God. For your word says that your eyes are upon the land. Your eyes are upon the land. Watching over it from beginning of the year to the end of the year. And so, Lord, your eyes are on us. Watching over us from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Oh, what else can we do but to give you thanks? We join David and he said, what shall we render? Unto you, O God, what shall I render? Unto Jehovah, for he has done so many things for me. You have done it for me. You have done it for my family. You have done it for my children. You've done it for my wife. I am so grateful. You've done it for my church, Lord. I say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lama sambe de kei toria samba de kei na shei morosa bara de konta bari aneika. I bless you, O God. I thank you, O God, that my family escaped death. I thank you, O God, that my children escape death. I thank you, O God, that my church members escape death. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. Even the near-death experiences that we had, Father, we could just see that your angel was at work keeping us from evil, keeping us from the traps of the enemy. We say thank you. Roma shande breke noko si bakaturia samba da 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 baturia sambe mende keturia sande broke shakala la banda rabababadonda kre mazuna kanda kayonde kirioso ne banda Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I praise you with all my being. I praise you with everything that I have, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. The psalmist said, if I fail to thank you, if I fail to praise you, let my tongue be stuck to the roof of my mouth. Hey, Lord, may we not forget to thank you. May we not forget to praise you. Oh, yes. You saw that man that came back, that Samaritan. You said, were there not ten cleansed? How come there's only one person who has come back to say thank you? Father, we are joining that one Samaritan tonight to say thank you. That we have come back, Lord, to say thank you. Bless your God. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we are so grateful. We are so grateful for escapes. Escapes from death. Escapes from sickness, escapes from the traps of the devil, escapes from wickedness. In the name of Jesus, mekan lo kare amasenda zeke beke yosu katabrande reba baba lo kusona bande ro le kashula katare amada. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, O God. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, Hallelujah. I'm just enjoying myself, blessing God and thanking Him for everything that He has done for us this year. And David said in Psalm 103, he said in verse 1, he said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. He actually was speaking to his soul. And sometimes we need to speak to our souls. We need to speak to our souls and tell our soul, bless the Lord. Because God has been good. Tell your soul to bless the Lord because sometimes your soul may not feel like blessing God. Well, look at some of the things that may have happened. And let me say this, that the devil has a way of making us focus on things that may not be true. And most of the time they are not, but he has a way of magnifying it to make it look like they are true. There are three things that the enemy will do to you to make you not say thank you to God. And number one, he will make you focus on all the things that are going on around he will say, look at uh, uh, Europe, look at what is happening, Russia, look at this, look at uh, 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 um, 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 all these other European countries. What are the things going on there? And he will bring up so many things that are happening. And we say, if God was still there, would these things be happening? But you see, Scripture says in Isaiah 6, that even in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah said, I saw the Lord seated on the throne. So with all the things happening, God is still on the throne. 
And sometimes he allows some things because, yes, that is also part of what he wants to do to bring about his perfect will for our lives. It doesn't stop us from saying thank you to God. Or the devil will make you focus on the things that God has not done instead of on the things that he has done. So when you look at your life, you look at things that God has not done and you're saying that God has not done this for me. God has not done this. Why should I say thank you? But you see, what you don't know is that the things that he didn't do is because he didn't need them. That's why he didn't do them. I love that song where the hymn writer says that um, great is thy faithfulness, great is that morning by morning new mercies I see. Then he said, all I have needed, all I have needed, thy hands have provided. So in other words, what he did not provide is because you didn't need it. That's why he didn't provide it. So you have every reason to give him thanks. And another thing that the enemy will do is that he will make you begin to compare yourself with other people to see whether uh, things are going on in their lives and you are not experiencing them. Sometimes people that you started out with, maybe you're a young lady, you're believing God to marry, and other friends that you have, they have people who they are getting married to and you are still there. Nobody is, has even proposed to you. And you may easily want to say, no, I don't see why I should give thanks to God. But the Bible says, Second, Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12, it said, they that compare themselves among themselves are not wise. No, don't compare yourself with somebody. You are unique. You are special. God has a perfect plan in place for you. And when yours happens, it will be very beautiful. The Bible says he makes all things beautiful in his time. And so we are looking forward to the time that God is going to make it beautiful in your life. Maybe in just a few days' time. Maybe in the coming year. Who knows? But listen, your thanksgiving will cause it to come to pass in your life. And so today, I want you to bless God and thank Him. The psalmist said in Psalm 100, he said, he said, enter His gates with thanksgiving. We are entering His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Any big door you encounter, it doesn't matter how huge the door is. The door is always at the mercy of a small key. Oh yes, every big door, whether big, small, medium, whatever it is, it is always at the mercy of a small key. And tonight, I came to show you that key. The key is thanksgiving. When you read the Message Bible, Psalm 100 verse 4, it said, enter with the password. King James says that enter his gifts with thanksgiving. But the message Bible says enter with the password. Then he says thank you. So the password is actually T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U. Thank you. That is what you need to enter the, 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 the gates and into the presence of God to release blessings into your life. Tonight, why don't you enter with the password? Lift up your voice. And just begin to thank God and enter with a password. Open your mouth and pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you. We thank you, oh God. We enter, Lord, with a password. We come in thanking you, Lord. We are not moved by the things that are happening around us. For we know that, Lord, you are still on the throne we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks, O oh God. We offer up the voice of thanksgiving, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Masamba de kusa tabiaro shemba de akura. Remiketulia zamba de akuza katabreka noina. Shemando kuria rasandele merekeno. Mekata baba baba none. Semandoria reketolia samba keta. Yes, Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks, O God. We adore you. We magnify your name. We exalt your holy name. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Shabakayando Korea Sandehe. Zemeketuria Zambakaturia Zakatabande. Shebebebele Ketola Barabanda. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes, somebody speak to your soul to bless the Lord. Don't be moved by what is happening because God is still at work in your life. The Bible says he declares the end from the beginning. And so before this year ended, he knew how it was going to be. And he declared your beginning from the end. And so the things that you needed, he provided. He brought you thus far. Don't be looking at the things you don't have yet. Because you didn't need them for this year. Maybe for next year. Maybe for another time. But for now, thank him for what he provided. Thank him for what he has done. Focus on what he has done. Instead of 
Focusing on what he has not done. Focus on what he has done. And bless him. Bless him. Bless him and thank him. Bless him and thank him. He deserves it. He deserves it. Give it all to him. Father, we give it all to you, Lord. Remeke sunaka tabraneke. Shembreke turia zambaka tionaka. Zemeke turia zakata braneko shakarabane. Reketeke tokuria sakabraneke mon. Mekandolia zula banderi ranke zonda batane. E Lord. Ye Lord. Zambaka turia zambaku zakabarea nere meke sula. Thank you, O God. We worship you. We adore you. We give you praise. We give you thanks, O God. You deserve it all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mani makusa tabrane. Meke nene mokosuta labande. Ah, Lord. I am not going to look at the things that are not there, but the things you have provided, O God. In the name of Jesus. Mikanda makusa talabrane. Shembe de keturi azande breketola. Rebababababanda. Remeke zula katana. Yes, Lord. Day in, day out. You deserve it, O God. Because you are Lord of Lords. You are King of Kings. And we give you praise. We give you thanks, O oh God. We worship and adore you. We magnify your name. Ilo shema nakatori asamekanehe. Ireke meke ne mokosula tabane. Father Lord, I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. I exalt your holy name. Shema nakosa na batande yanehe. Remeke turi asambeko sabatale. Me 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 ne ne mreke turi asandaba. Ori araba sandele meko na banehe. Me kando I will not compare myself with another person. I will not compare myself with another person. I will just look up to you alone, God. I will look up to you alone, God. For you have been good to me. 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 You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it, Lord. You deserve it, Lord. You have been good. You have been good. You have been good. Whichever way we look at it, you have been good, O oh God. We worship you. We adore you. We give you praise. We give you thanks, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you thanks, O God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not his benefits. So he talks about benefits again. And this time he, he enumerates a whole new benefits that we may not even have thought about. He said in Psalm 103 verse 3, he said, Who forgiveth you all your sins? Who forgiveth you all your sins? God forgives you every sin. I like the way the message Bible puts it. He said he forgives you all your sins. He said everyone, everyone. That includes even sins that probably may not have committed. He forgives, he's forgiving you already. If only you can come to him and ask for forgiveness. But he's forgiving you every sin. And God was to mark iniquity. Who will stand? Where will we have been? We will not be here now. It's just the grace of God, the mercy of God that has brought us this far. So he said, who forgives you all your sins? And then who heals you of all your diseases? Whatever disease you have, God is a specialist at healing diseases. His name is Jehovah Rophi. The Lord, our healer, he heals you of your diseases. And whatever thing it is, maybe you should have been in the hospital by now. You should have been admitted at the hospital by now. But look at you there. It's God's doing. He has kept you. And even if you are not feeling well now, I believe that the same healing power will heal you and deliver you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He will deliver you from every hold of the enemy and every work of Satan in your life. And then he said, who redeems your life from destruction? He redeems you. He's specialist at redeeming you from, from destruction. That you will not be destroyed. That's the plan of the enemy, to destroy you. But you shall not be destroyed. He said, the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I'm come that you might have life. 
and have it more abundantly. Look at that. Look at what Jesus has done in our lives. That you have life more abundantly. Then he said that who, who also crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. So he crowns you. He makes sure that at the end of it all, he adds on top of it loving kindness and then tender mercies. Not just mercies, but tender mercies. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then finally, the Bible says that he, he fills your mouth with good things. He fills your mouth with good things. He has filled our mouth with good things from the beginning of the year up to now. And then he renews your youth like that of the ego when you are in his presence your youth is always renewed you look very young you look like you're a very young person even though you may be old it's just the goodness of god and the grace of god so look at that five very powerful things forgiveness healing um, redemption coronation because he crowns your life and then also satisfaction he satisfies you with good things this Five powerful things are things you can thank God about. Lift up your voice and give him thanks. Bless his name. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for another opportunity to come before him again because he has forgiven your sins. Thank him for mercy that has been shown to you that you are still alive. He did not count your sins. He did not mark your iniquities. He forgave you. He overlooked them. He said, play on. Just like a, a referee would do in a match when maybe there's an infringement. He says, play on so that the game will continue and it looks very beautiful. That is what God has done for you. He says, play on, play on, play on. Thank God that you are playing on. Thank God that you are moving on. Thank God, oh, Masi Katala, Masoli Anna, that he has allowed the game to go on. He should have stopped it, maybe shown you a yellow card or maybe shown you a red card. But he said, play on. Thank him for mercy. Thank him for forgiveness. Thank him that he has forgiven you and given you another chance. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We give you all the glory. We give you praise of God. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for mercy. It is because of your mercies that we are not consumed. Thank you, O oh God, for forgiveness. O oh Lord, your word says that with you is forgiveness, that you may be feared. Thank you for forgiving us our sins. Thank you for having mercy on us, O oh God, and giving us another chance. O oh Lord, to continue. Giving us a chance to play on. Oh, Father, I thank you. I thank you. I should have been dead, sleeping in my grave. But Lord, you showed me mercy. And I thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for forgiving me my sins, oh God. Oh, male, malo, mala, made, mede, 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 mede. I say thank you. I say thank you. I say thank you. Father, we bless you. We thank you, oh God, for that which you have done, for that which you are going to do. Oh, yes, Lord, for that which you are doing. We say thank you. Father, we thank you also for healing us of all our diseases. He said, who healeth you of all your diseases? Everyone, every one of them, every one of them. Thank him that every sickness that the enemy brought your way, God healed you. Oh, yes, thank him for health. Thank him for well-being. Thank him for strength. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him that you are well. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you for health. Lord, even as you are thanking him now, yes, somebody out there watching me, you are not feeling too well. As you are thanking him, healing is taking place. As you are thanking him, healing is taking place. As you are thanking him, healing is taking place. Bless him right now. Romo shikara bandehe. Make it take more so near and break it on. Shamba na kazuli katuri and somebody akadere. Reme kesula katabre na kusa na brane. Reme la 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 bashu katabre kanona. Makazula katande brike no zuri ana. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, O God. In the name of Jesus, Madabande Kiria Sanda. We come back to say thank you. For our eyes can see what you have done. We can see the healing. Like that leper that came back to say thank you. Father, I can see the healing. I can experience it. I can feel it. I am healed. And I say thank you, O God. I can see it. Maybe you have not seen everything. But the traces that you are seeing is enough to give him thanks. As you are giving him thanks, things get better better and better. Scripture says in Jeremiah 30 and verse 19, the message Bible, it said as you are giving thanks, uh, things will get better and better. Things will get better and better. Things will get better and better. Tonight, just thank him. 
Thank him. Thank him. Declare things are better. I am well. I am well. I am well. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, I'm speaking to somebody. Things may not look, be, be looking too well for you right now. But as you are giving thanks to him, they are beginning to look well. They are beginning to work. They are getting better in the name of Jesus. Thanksgiving has a way of converting the bad to good. It has a way of converting ah, the negative to the positive. Thank him. In the negative, thank him for it. Ah, liko Thank him for your healing in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you. I bless you, Lord. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You deserve the glory. You deserve the praise. For you are great and you do miracles so great. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is none that we can compare to you. Oh, Father Lord, Lord, we worship you. We give you praise. We give you thanks, O God. Thank you, O God. Thank him right now for redeeming you from destruction. Thank him that he redeemed you. Redemption is to buy back, is to pay every price to save you and to, and to deliver you and to snatch you. That is what the Lord has done now. He has paid every price to snatch you from the, from the grips of the enemy. Thank him right now. He deserves it. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks wherever you are. I don't know what you are doing right now, but stop and give him thanks. Stop and give him thanks. Stop and give him thanks. Yes, songwriter said, we will stop and give you praise. For great is your faithfulness. We will stop and give you praise. Stop now. Pause everything. And all you must do now is to thank him. He redeemed your life from destruction. Another version says he redeemed your life from going to hell. You should have gone to hell. You should have been in hell. But he redeemed you by his precious blood. Thank him for it. David said, I thank you. I thank you. Even then he had not seen the Lord Jesus Christ. But I knew he had a vision. And he could see that redemption was coming. And he could give thanks for it. He said, my soul, bless the Lord. Bless God. He has done it. Even the things you don't know about that he did for you. The things that should have happened that he delivered you from it. You have no idea that he did it for you. Thank him for it. Thank him for it. Bless him right now. Oh Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you praise, Lord. He must say Makatonia Zambani Koshimbariane Rekene Mikosula Banda. Thank you for redeeming my life from destruction. Thank you for redeeming my life from destruction. Satan, you are a liar. Your works are they have failed. The word of God says that Jesus has the final say. He has the final say in my life. He has the final word. And that final word is going to be spoken about me. In fact, it has already been declared about me. And that is what will stand. And I give God thanks for it. Father, thank you. Thank him. Thank him for redemption. Oh, thank him that is crowning you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank him that is crowning you with loving kindness and tender mercies. He has crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Father, thank you for crowning us, for crowning us, for crowning us with loving kindness. Thank you for your love. If you have not been for your love, where will we be by now? But your love kept us. Your love has kept us and favored us. Oh God, I give you all the praise and I give you all the thanks oh God. Thank you for your love. Thank you for showing me love. Thank you for showing me kindness. Thank you for showing me favor. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you for loving kindness and tender mercies. Loving Loving kindness and tender mercies. Loving kindness and tender mercies. Ko na marka tande brosena. Shemba diondo korea zandebe. I baba badonda brakazuna batena. I lozi kamba diondo roko shemba na namande. Yes, Lord. You deserve it, O God. You deserve it, O God. You deserve it, O God. We give you praise, O God. We give you thanks, O God. Shamba da katoria sambe kitolia sande. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Him. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Oh yes, uh, for satisfying your mouth with good things. Uh, thank him for satisfying your mouth with good things. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Mika shona brenaha. Izema katuria zanebaka. Reme keturia kashaka banoho. We Lord, we thank you. We bless you, O God, uh, for satisfying our mouth uh, with good things. Uh, with good things. Uh, we receive the good things uh, that you have given to us. Uh, and we know that even from now to the end of the year, many more good things. Things are being provided in the name of Jesus. Mekanda bako senda na bandhe, remeke lo samba na na bashena, remando kusini ya mani kusamani ya kutabari ya nhe, remeke tole ya baba. Thank you, Lord, for good things. Every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. We acknowledge it. 
and will receive it. Scripture says in First Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7, it said, what have you that you did not receive? How come you are boasting as if you didn't receive it? Everything we have, he gave it to us. And so we can say thank you to him. Father, thank you. I am so grateful for satisfying my mouth with good things, for providing for me, for providing for my family, for providing for my children, for providing for my church, for providing for my extended family and everyone connected to me. Lord, I say thank you. I say thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Lord, for renewing our youth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like that of the eagle. Oh, yes. It is only God who can renew your youth. Otherwise, you will look older than your age. Oh, but God is renewing your youth. Thank Him that you are looking fresher and nicer. Mika sola baba bana ye belele kusana mande. The songwriter said, "I define, I define, I define, I define, I define, I define." I just they tell them, say, "It be Jesus they make me fine. It be Jesus they make me fine." Give God thanks that He has made you fine. He's, he's called the finer. He's called the finer. The Bible says that the finer will make you fine. Give Him thanks that He has made you oh look like a young person because of his goodness because of his mercies because of his favor because of his grace thank him right now father we are so grateful we are so grateful we are so grateful oh yes in the name of jesus we give you thanks we give you praise we give you all the glory in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah, hallelujah. I tell you, I'm enjoying myself thanking God because I know all the good things that He's doing for me. Listen, if in case you just join us, this is the 11th hour. And we are here with you every night from 11 p.m. to 12 midnight on Mondays. And uh, this is our last one for the year. And so uh, I believe that it's just in order to say thank you to God for everything that He has done for us. He said, Where is that? Where are the nine? Are they, are they not they left that who can come back and say thank you? Oh, we don't want to be like the nine who never came back. But we are like the one that came back. Hallelujah. Listen, please, if you have not shared the link with somebody yet, you are doing something wrong. Share the link with as many people as possible. And let's, let's give thanks to God. David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. With me. And let us exalt his name together that is what we are doing we are magnifying the lord and we are exalting his name together 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 it's so beautiful how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity bible says that for there the lord commands his blessings for there his oil that comes from his presence drips down onto his people and so as we are gathered together the oil of god is dripping on us and we are receiving a blessing to end the year well and even to enter the coming year somebody shout hallelujah amen and amen hallelujah i'm so blessed i'm so blessed yes time time just keeps running we've gone halfway already and we are just almost about to end but listen that scripture in psalm 116 and uh, David asking in verse 12, what shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits? Before then, he had been enumerating the benefits of God. And he said, from verse 1 to verse 4 in Psalm 116, he said, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. He said, because he has inclined his ear unto me, and therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed me and the pains of hell got hold upon me. He said, I found trouble and sorrow. Maybe somebody can identify with that. You have actually found trouble and sorrow in your life. But look at it. He said, when I called on the Lord, he heard me. It's one good reason to give thanks to God. That he heard you when you called him. And then he said, verse 4, Then called I upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech you, deliver my soul. But you see, that was a very good reason to give thanks to God. And look at what the answer that came in verse 5. It said, Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yea, our God is merciful. So he brings up the fact that God is also merciful. That number one, he hears your prayer. And number two, he is merciful. Hey, you will never understand mercy 
until you find yourself in a very difficult situation and you need mercy. That is when you begin to understand what mercy does for you. And then he goes on to say, he said, the Lord preserves the simple. You know, it's written nicely over there, the simple. But I, I, another way to put that is the stupid, the foolish. You know, because the Bible says that the prudent man, he foresees the evil ahead and he hides himself. But the simple, they pass on and they are punished. Ah, it, it's like the foolish one. You know, he's not prudent. He's not wise. And so he goes on and then he's punished. But when you, when you, when you are the one that who, who is even simple and ignorant and foolish, the Bible says that God still has a way of preserving you. So he said, yes, he will answer my prayer. Number two, he will, he will, he will show mercy to me. And then number three, he said, you preserve the simple. In other words, even for the foolish mistakes I made in the course of the year, the, the foolish decisions I took, <laughs> I don't know whether you can also say that, but, but there are times when I take some decisions and I, I, I give myself a knock on the head. And I say, Eddie, how, how come you took such a decision? Why did you do something like that? And I'm so grateful that even in my mistake, God still preserves me. Ah, that is what David is saying. He said, so what shall I read that? Up to this God. And then he said, he said, return to your rest, O my soul. For the Lord has dealt bountifully with thee. One of the things God does, he deals bountifully with you. Bountifully. <laughs> I'm reading Psalm 116. I'm just enjoying it. And this is verse, verse 7. He said, the Lord has dealt bountifully. Scripture says that when you call upon him in prayer, he hears and he answers. He says that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ever ask or think. So he deals bountifully with you. He hears your prayer. He shows you mercy. And then also he helps you, preserves you. Even in your foolishness, he preserves you. And then David says that he deals bountifully with you. And I love this last one in verse 8. He said, for thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. He has delivered your soul from death, my eyes from tears, and then my feet from falling. Eesh, these are very powerful things. And, 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 and David looks at all these things and he says, Now, what shall I then render unto the Lord for all his mercies and all his benefits? He hears my prayer, he shows me mercy, he preserves me even in my foolishness, he deals bountifully with me, he delivers, delivers me from death, he, he holds my eyes from tears. And then my feet from falling is enough to give him thanks. What can you do? Is there something you can thank God for? Is there somebody you can thank God for? Is there something you can give thanks to God for? Lift up your voice and let's do it again tonight because God deserves it. We don't have too much time, but I think that this Thanksgiving is enough. It is taking you into so many things. Even before you get there, the Bible says that Jesus looked at the man and he said, your faith has made you whole. His thanksgiving was seen as faith. Your thanksgiving is seen as faith. It's enough to God ah, to do things for you that you don't even deserve. He will do it for you. Lift up your voice and thank him right now. Things that you have not even prayed about, he is doing it for you. Thank him right now that he is doing it for you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you and we thank you, oh God. We give you glory that you are making us whole. Not just healing us, but making us whole. Not just healing us, but making us whole. That is what you have done oh god bless him right now thank him right now in the name of jesus more benefits from god that he hears us when we call he hears us when you call he hears our prayer lift up your voice and thank him that even now he's hearing your prayer he's hearing your prayer and he's answering your prayer Thank you, O God. Thank you, O God. Makosha Madekosa Nabrika Nunze Maria Kane. Itabakaturia Sambekeria Mokoshoniri Mikata. Imekamdoro Mosuna. We say thank you, O God. Thank you that you hear my prayer. He said, You incline your ear unto me. You heard my voice and my supplications. Father, I say thank you. The times when we prayed, thank you for hearing our prayer. Even times when we didn't pray, but in our hearts, you heard our prayer. 
prayer. You always say that you are able to do about what we ask or think. So you even answer our thinking. The things that we are thinking about, you even answer that one. Oh, what a great God. What a mighty God. Father, we say thank you. We bless you, oh God. We give you all the glory and praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I say thank you for hearing my prayer. Even the prayers that were not good prayers that I prayed. Oh Lord, thank you that some of them you just even ignored. But you were there and you showed me mercy. You have been merciful. Father, I say thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. In times when I found myself in messy situations, you showed me mercy. I found myself in messy situations, you showed me mercy. I say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for being there. For being there all the time. Oh yes, I joined David. Oh, what shall we say? Oh Lord, today for the things, the bountiful, many things. And Father, you have dealt bountifully. You have dealt bountifully. You have dealt bountifully with us, oh God. More than we can carry. More than we can carry. We say thank you. We give you thanks. We give you praise, oh God. Thank you for dealing bountifully. For dealing bountifully with me. Thank you for dealing bountifully with me. Even more than I needed. More than I wanted. You supplied all my need. According to your riches in glory. By Christ Jesus. Monday, Masuna Monday. You preserved me when I was stupid, when I was foolish, and I was doing stupid things. <coughs> you preserved me. You delivered me, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for preserving me. When I was even low, you brought me up. I said, Father, thank you. Thank you, oh God. You did not allow my foolish thoughts and evil things and foolish ways to even distract you from doing what you are doing for me. I'm so grateful, Father. I bless you. I bless you and I thank you. I give you all the glory for your help, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that, Lord, you delivered my soul from death and my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. You delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. You delivered my soul from death and my eyes from tears and my feet from falling. Lord, I thank you. I can now walk before you in the land of the living. Father, I'm so grateful. What shall I render unto you, O God, for your benefits? I will lift up the cup of salvation. I will take up the cup of salvation. And I will pay my vows to you, O God. I will take up my, my cup of salvation. The cup of salvation. I will pay my vows. And I will offer to you sacrifice of thanksgiving. Sacrifice of thanksgiving. I give it all to you, O God. I call upon your name today. I call upon your name, O God. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Oh, Father, I bless you. Like the songwriter Andre Carr said, Wow, how can I say thanks for all the things that you have done for me? Things so undeserved, but you did it to prove your love for me. Hey, hey, a million angels cannot express my gratitude. All that I am and ever hope to be, I give it all. I give it all to you. To you be all the glory. To you be all the praise of God. Acknowledge all your benefits in my life. I acknowledge them. Every one of them that you have done from the beginning of the year up to now. I thank you for victories. Victories won. Thank you for victories won. Thank you for favors. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for direction. Thank you, oh God. All I can say, Lord, is thank you. All I can say, Lord, is thank you. All I can say, Lord, is thank you. Rabala kasula katabe. Shema no 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 mo suda kate. Debre kesula katabre kasula mane. I bless you, oh God. I thank you, oh God. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Time is fast, fast running. But you know what? When you are giving God thanks, all you are doing is you are acknowledging God in your situations. You are just acknowledging God in it. And God loves it when we acknowledge it. Acknowledge Him. 
In other words, we are saying that, Lord, we know we cannot make it on our own. We need your help. And he loves it when we come to him to say we need your help. You see, thanksgiving, God himself cannot thank himself. He cannot say, thank you myself. No, he cannot say, thank you, God. That he is God and he says, thank you. He cannot do that. He cannot praise himself. That is why he needs us. And that is why he's drawn to people who praise him. He's drawn to people who, who give him thanks. He's drawn to them because he cannot do it for himself. So if he finds somebody who is doing it for him, he comes there. So that's why the Bible says that he inhabits the praises of his people. So when we give him praise, he inhabits the praise. He comes in. Hey, it's better than just giving prayer to God. Yes, because when you pray to God, you are giving him work to do. <laughs> but when you thank him, you are just inviting his presence to be around. And if God is for you, who, what can be against you? You just need his presence. When the Israelites were going around the wall of Jericho and they were shouting and they were praising, Bible says that God is gone up with a shout. When the people shouted, God himself was lifted up. And when he came down, the walls could not stand. Any wall standing in front of you will come down when the presence of God is with you. You make it. You make it. In the coming year, may the presence of God go with you throughout from beginning to the end. Dave, uh, Moses said, if your presence is not going with us, Lord, we are not going. And so thanksgiving will guarantee his presence. It will guarantee his presence to be with you. And let, then let that be your daily focus. That every day you are thanking God, thanking him for his goodness, for his mercies. Even for the things that you don't know that he has done. And I can show you of one thing, that at least escapes from death is there. Forgiveness of sin is there. Uh, uh, healing you is there. These are things that you don't know about. But we say he daily loads you with them. And so just thank him, even if you cannot see it. Because it's happening. It's happening. He has done it already. The psalmist said, Psalm 127 verse 1. He said, except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. And except the Lord watches, he said, the watchman will watch, but in vain. Then he said something in verse 2. He said, he said, that person who wakes up early and sleeps late is, is vain for you to wake up early and sleep late. He said, because God is the one who gives. You haven't seen how you worked hard and about some things and you didn't see the results? Because it's God who will give it to you. He said in, in the New American Standard Bible, he said he gives to his beloved even in his sleep. So you can actually be sleeping and God will be giving to you. Whoa, whoa, what a blessing. What a blessing. And today we are going to thank God again. You know, I'm just speaking to somebody who says that you have no idea what I'm going through right now. I don't know how I can give God thanks. I know. I've seen it before. And I've even seen it in the scriptures. Where the Bible says in 137, Psalm 137 that there were these children of Israel who were in captivity in Babylon. And the Bible says that the Babylonians required of them a song even in their captivity. And they said, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Yeah, they were in a strange land. And you can find yourself in a strange land. But where else would you sing the Lord's song? Isn't it in a strange land? In the place where it looks like things are not working. That's the best place to sing the Lord's song. Yes, I call it strange praises in strange places. Haha, <laughs> you didn't get that one. Strange praises in strange places. If you don't take care, you can easily make a mistake. The R and the L, you can have a mistake there. So you have to take your time. Strange praises in strange places places yes you can offer up strange praises in that strange place and that's what, because you see your captivity always requires of you a song it's a day that held us captive they require of us a song your captivity will always require of you a song and you must release a song in your captivity in other in that in, that, in order for you to come out of that captivity i reminded of jonah in jonah chapter 2 Verse 7, the Bible says that Jonah was talking about how he was in the belly of the fish. And he said, it was as if I was in hell. Yeah, maybe that's how it feels for you. That you are in hell. You are in hell. But the thanksgiving is what will make the difference. 
So the Bible says that. He said, anybody, that's what Judah said. He said, anybody who does not give praise to God and all that, he's forsaking his own mercy. That's Jonah in the belly of the fish. The man had become very wise as he was in the belly of the fish. He was the one who forsook God. He went away and he paid the fare, took a, a ship going to Tarshish when he was supposed to go to Nineveh. Ha! Huh? But this man now was saying that anybody who forsakes God is a who observes lying vanities. That's what he says in the King James. He says he's forsaking his own mercy. But then he said, I remember the Lord. I remember that. He said he remembered the Lord. He was recounting what happened to him in the belly of the fish. He said, I remember the Lord. That's the best time to remember the Lord. Remember him. And he said, and so I offered up a voice of thanksgiving, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. He said, I lifted up my voice with a sacrifice of thanksgiving. So what it is is that sometimes you don't, you don't feel like doing it. That is when it becomes a sacrifice. A sacrifice of thanksgiving because you don't feel like giving thanks. You don't see why you should give thanks to God, even at this time of the year. But the sacrifice of thanksgiving is what is going to change the situation for you. And so the Bible says that as soon as he did that, Jonah chapter 2, verse 10, verse 11, the Bible says that God spoke to the fish. God spoke to the fish and the fish vomited Jonah onto the land. Can you believe it? Where the gentleman was going, the fish vomited him straight onto that land. He didn't need Uber. He didn't need any boat. He didn't need anything. He didn't need aeroplane. He just found himself at the place. How? Just because of Thanksgiving. Listen, there's a place you must be. Your Thanksgiving will take you there straight. But you see, you need to learn that even in that difficult state, you should still be able to give thanks to God. That is what is going to take you there. Remember Paul and Silas? I'm sure you know them. Acts chapter 16. The Bible says that at midnight, they were in chains. They were in prison. And this is not a time to praise God. This is not a time to say thank you to God. No. But the Bible says that even in chains and at midnight, two things. They were in chains. They were in prison. In fact, three things. They were in chains, they were in prison, and then it was midnight. In fact, midnight is the darkest part of the night. It is the, it is the most difficult time of the night. And that's the time that they chose to praise God. The Bible says, and they prayed and they praised. And they prayed and they praised. And they prayed and they praised. And look at what happened. There was an earthquake. Earthquake. And the prison gates began to shake. And they all opened just like that. And then their chains fell off. How? Just by praising, thanking God. Everything is falling off. Chains are broken. Doors are opening. That is what God can do. In the door that is shut before you will open. In the coming year, expect to walk through open doors as you are thanking God. In the chain that has held you, I know some of you, you can't even pray anymore. You can't even read your Bible. You don't even feel like going to church. For some of us, since the COVID time, you have not darkened the doorway of the church. And you have just told yourself, I cannot go again. And something has held you bound. But as you give thanks to God today, listen, your thanksgiving is going to take you directly to your destination. In fact, God will speak to the situation and the situation will release you and you are coming out of it. And then it will catapult you to where you are going, where you are supposed to be. And then in the prison you find yourself in, the doors will open, the chains will come off and God is going to help you. Open doors will be right before you. Today, one more time, lift up your voice and begin to thank God again. Bless him. We just have a few minutes to close. Wow, our time, our time is just finished. But let's just thank God. Let's thank him right now. We are just about to finish. We are just about to end. But thank him right now, wherever you are. Switch, switch to praise and thanksgiving. Switch to praise and thanksgiving. Whatever you were doing, maybe you were praying about something. Just thank God. Even things that you were expecting to have that you don't have yet, thank God for it. Because your thanksgiving will release that thing for you. Thank Him. Anybody who finds himself in captivity, in prison, give Him thanks. You are coming out of captivity. You are coming out of captivity in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Him right now. He deserves it. He deserves it. Give Him thanks. 
Oh yes, David said, I will pay that which I have vowed. You owe God something. You owe him thanksgiving. What you have, he is the one who gave it to you. And so giving it back to him should not be a problem. Thank him right now. Thank him right now. Father, we bless you. We thank you, oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you praise. Lord, we know whatever captivity we find ourselves in, as we thank you, we are out of it. Things that we are believing that we haven't seen yet. As we are thanking you, we know they are provided. They are supplied. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. And we give you thanks, oh God. Oh, Masande Bokosoda Brande, Shimanana It is a good thing to give you thanks. It is a good thing to give you thanks. I see chains falling off. I see chains falling off. I see doors opening. I see prison doors opening. In the name of Jesus, I see people who feel like you are in the belly of the fish. You are coming out of the belly of the fish in the name of Jesus Christ. Things are working. Things are changing for you. Romoko sula katabrane. Shembe de meketulia sandabrane. Ize mekatulia sandekro sandabrane. I tell you, this whole week must be a week of thanksgiving. The coming week must be a week of thanksgiving. Just turn everything into a hashtag. Thank you. Hashtag. Thank you. I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't understand some of those hashtag things, but it's all part of it. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Say thank you, Lord. Let everything that has spread. Praise the Lord. Once you have breath, praise him. He said in the grave, you cannot thank God. In the grave, there is no more thanksgiving. This is where you need to give thanks. That is why he has given you life to thank him. Bless him. Thank him right now. For the many things he has done. Uh, even for the good things, the bad things, the ugly things, the trials, the difficulties. They were all working together for your good. Uh, he said, remember the way in which the Lord took you in the wilderness. Hey, in the desert. But he brought you to a good land. But he also do, did other good things for you. Thank him right now. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. You are out of that captivity. You are out of that prison. You are out of that belly of the fish. You are out of that place in the name of Jesus. Give him thanks to God. Father, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Your word says in everything we should give thanks. And so we give you thanks. For this is your will for us in Christ Jesus. And your word says that we should not cast away our confidence. But as we give you thanks, hey, after we have done the will of God, we shall obtain the promise. And so, Lord, we obtain the promise. We obtain the promise. We receive every promise you have for us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we enter with the password. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for freshness. Thank you for fresh oil. For now, for the coming year, in the name of Jesus, make a double brande. We bless you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen, even if what you have is small, Thanksgiving can multiply it. Yes. Jeremiah 30, verse 19, he said, Thanksgiving will proceed from their mouth. He said, and I will multiply you and you will not be small. I will glorify you and you will not be few. Thanksgiving. 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 The message Bible says that Thanksgivings will proceed from your mouth. And he said, laughter will, will spill out through your doors. God will fill your mouth with laughter in the coming year. You'll be laughing. Hey, like Sarah, you will say, the Lord has made me to laugh. And all who hear my testimony will laugh with me. That is going to be your portion in the name of Jesus. And then he said, depression days are over. Days of depression, they are over. I prophesy over you. You are no longer going to be depressed. Whatever brought tears to you this year is over in the name of Jesus. In the coming year, it will be laughter, laughter galore. From beginning to the end, it will be your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then he said, things will get better and better. Things will get better and better. He said, days of contempt are over. Things are going to get better and better. Believe it. Things will get better and better. I prophesy over you. Speak it to yourself. Declare it on the page. Write it on the page. Things are going to get better for me. Things are going to get better and better and better. It will not go back. It will be better and better and better to the very end. Oh, Jesus. And that is why Jesus, when he was confronted with 
5,000 people he had to feed and he had just two fishes and five loaves of bread. He applied the same principle of thanksgiving. And then the Bible says that he said, Father, I thank you. And it was multiplied. That little thing you have is going to be multiplied. When they told him about Lazarus' death, he knew thanksgiving would make a difference. He said, Father, I thank you. And the man who had been dead for four days came back to life. Listen, whatever is little is going to become much. Whatever is dead is coming back to life again. Oh, I thought someone was going to shout amen. That's going to be your portion. That's going to be your testimony. Hey, let's just thank God. Our time is up. But let's just thank him. Let's bless him for his faithfulness and his goodness. Thank him right now. Thank him. Just bless him and thank him. That every little thing is becoming much. Thank him that the dead things are coming back to life. The things that didn't work are working again. In the coming year, you will see his hand at work in your life. Thank him right now. Thank him right now. Thank him right now. Enter into prophetic thanksgiving. I call it prophetic thanksgiving. Because small becomes much. Dead comes back to life. It is prophetic thanksgiving. Enter into prophetic thanksgiving. Father, I thank you. I thank you. As you are thank you, you are prophesying. I thank you that the dead is back to life. I thank you that the little has become much. I thank you that small is no longer small, but is is much. In the name of Jesus, I thank you that a little one has become a thousand. I thank you. Thank him. Do prophetic thanksgiving. Anything that is negative, speak it into the positive. Anything that is weak, speak it into the strength. In the name of Jesus, thank him right now. Father, we bless you. We thank you, O oh God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank him for his mercies, for restoration. Because God is going to restore to you at this end of year, whatever you have lost. He said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm has eaten. Whatever has eaten your things this year, at this end of year, God is restoring. It is called restitution. May you receive restitution at this end of year. Receive restitution in the name of Jesus. Lost opportunities, lost um, whatever it is that you have lost. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Bless him. Father, we thank you. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. Pray and thank him that you are going to end this year well. You will finish strong. You will finish well. Declare that your latter end will be greater than your beginning. Yes, that's what his word says. It's a prophetic thanksgiving. Thank him that you will not die before the end of the year. Thank him that you will not be in the hospital before the end of the year. Thank him that none of your family members will die before the end of the year. Thank him that none of them will be found in the hospital. Hey, as we enter the new year, they will be kept by the power of God. You will be kept by the power of God. Thank him that your ministry will not die. Thank him that your business will not die. It's going to do well. Actually, when you check, when you do the checks and balances, you will see that yes, you are ending the year better than you started the year. Give him thanks. Give him thanks that none of your check members is not going to be, is not going to be lost. Yes, they will not be lost. They will be kept. Hey, the Bible says that when they counted the children of Israel, they realized that there was none lost. That will be your testimony. Thank him that there's none lost. Thank him that whatever you went through, he kept you. He kept you alive from now into the new year. Thank him that there will be peace. There will be joy. There will be blessings. There will be breakthroughs. Thank him that every petition you have given to him, he has answered. Even the things you have not prayed about, he has answered. Thank him for things that are still pending, that they are coming to pass in the name of Jesus. Thank him that he has rebuked the works of darkness. Ah, before this year ends, at this end of year, the things that happen at the end of the year, thank him that God has rebuked every one of them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Thank him for the coming year. Yes, thank him for the coming year. That is going to be a good year. It will be better than this year. Yes, your latter days must be greater than your former. And so thank him that coming year will be better than this year. And thank him for friends. If you have some people, mention their names now. We'll be praying for them. Put their names on the page. Maybe your family members, your children, your friends, people you know. Mention their names. Put their names on the page. Father, I thank you for Joe. Lord, I thank you for Susan. Lord, I thank you for Jeanette. Lord, I thank you for Christmas. Lord, I thank you for Caroline. I thank you for Edmund. I thank you. Write their names and thank God for them. Every one of them. As you are thanking God, God himself is working a work 
in their lives in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and bless him and thank him. Oh, we give you thanks, oh God. Oh yes, Lord, and he cabia mawo. Oh, if he said, Oh nese wo. Oh Jesus. Oh la bakasula katabra mele koshana manana mane. We give you thanks, Lord. Yet the aseda. Oh any cabia mawo. If he said, Oh nese wo. Yet you said that any cabia mawo, if he said, Oh, nice, he deserves it. He deserves it. All that the songwriter is saying that we give you praise and thanks, all reservedly, because you deserve it. Oh, oh, you yam ya, oh, you yam yo, oh, you yam ya. Oh, on such rada, he's a God that changeth not. And we just give him thanks. We give him thanks. We give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, I tell you, I wish we could go on and on and on and on and on. But our time, our time is up. But listen, David says something. He said, I will pay that which I owe. Listen, I believe that our sacrifice of thanksgiving is not just in our mouth, but also in our actions, in the things that we do. And also in our giving. It's one of the ways you can say thank you to God. For how far he has brought me. Last week I told you to try and get something. So that we can all thank God together with a good offering. And I believe that you did just that. So I want you to take out that offering. I believe some of you want to give a special offering to God. Of a hundred dollars. A hundred pounds. A hundred CDs. hundred of something. I think hundred is a good way to say thank you. Why? Because also Psalm 100 talks about Thanksgiving. <laughs> I think it's a special, special way to say thank you to God. With your 100 pounds, your 100 dollars, 100 euros, 100 CDs, 100 of something. If your currency is quite low, maybe 100,000 of that currency. I don't know, but we want to say thank you to God. Maybe you want to give 50 or 40 or 30 or 20 or 10. But Listen, if you are really grateful for what God has done, I, I have enumerated so many things. We, there are so many things we couldn't go over all of them. Just a few things, just to let you know who God is in your life and what he has done for you. And today, I want you to pick up your phone and I pray with you that God will favor you. That every blessing that comes through Thanksgiving will be your portion. That may God step into your situation. May he grant you open doors. May he give you victory over your enemies. May he cause every plan of the enemy to kill and destroy you to be aborted and frustrated in the name of jesus may he cause you to walk through doors that have been open doors that will be before shut but they will be open before you may he cause you to come out of every captivity and every hold of satan may you escape the traps of death that the enemy has placed before you and may he release financial blessings into your life that your life will be better than it is that whatever was small will become much because you have given thanks to God. May God cause his face to shine upon you and favor you. That he said the people shall praise him. All the people will praise him. And our God himself will bless us. That the people will fear him. May God bless you. That people will fear him. They will wonder what kind of God you are serving. Father, we thank you. And we bless you for your goodness in every life today. Ah, we declare that the coming year will be better. It will be better for everyone that is joining me tonight. Everyone that is joining in, Lord, let it be better for them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. We thank you that the dead things have come back to life. We are looking forward to greater days ahead. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, send that offering in. The number to send it to is 055-771-4458. 055 Five eight, okay. The number will be put on the screen. Uh, you will see it. So uh, don't worry, it will come. And I'm sure I have people who are also always putting the number on the screen for me. So the number will be put there for you, and so you can send. But let me repeat it: zero five five seven seven one four four five eight zero five five seven seven one four four five eight. And um, those of you outside of this country, you can prefix with plus two three three. Plus two three three five five seven seven 
14458. And the account name is Lighthouse Chapel International of Boise. Lighthouse Chapel International of Boise. And everything will go there. And we're going to receive it. God bless you for supporting. God bless you. I believe that God is giving the final word in somebody's life. Send the offerings in right now. Let's keep thanking God. And I'm going to pray with you. Anybody out there who is believing God for salvation, we're going to pray together. We will pray. But thank God right now. Just bless Him and worship Him. Beautiful atmosphere to bless the Lord and to thank Him for His favor. I ought to give you thanks. I ought to give you praise, God. Yes. Send the offerings in. Send it in. We are waiting for it. Send it in. Let it come in. We just have a few minutes to close. Just a few minutes to close. But send the offerings in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, we thank, we thank you, oh Lord, oh, we just want to thank you, oh Lord, we just want to thank you, Lord, oh, we just want to thank, thank you. Oh Lord, we just want to thank you. Oh Lord, we just want to thank Rabalala Kasula Lord, we just want to thank you. Listen, before we enter the coming year. It's good to get things right with God. Maybe you just joined in this program by chance, but it's not by chance. God ordered your steps. You don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior. You want to say, Pastor, pray with me. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. I want to be born again. Tonight, I'm ready to pray with you. A very simple prayer. And I want you to repeat after me. And mean it from the depths of your heart because God can see into your heart. Just pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I thank you for dying on a cross to save me from my sins. Please forgive me all my sins. Come into my heart. Make me a new person. Please write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. From today, I will serve you. I will follow you for the rest of my days. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen and amen. It sounds like a simple prayer, but a very powerful prayer. Jesus is in your heart right now. And um, I believe that he's going to do a new work in your life. Find a Bible-believing church to join and a place where Jesus is on it. And if you can, send me a message to the number I gave to you. And or you can get to me on Facebook and uh, we can share fellowship together. I'll try and give you a book that will help you to walk with God. God bless you so much. Thank you for joining me all this year through. Every one of you, so faithful. Everyone, thank you. Some of you, if I'm going to mention the names, I may miss out some names and some people will not be happy with me. So everyone, you know yourselves. So grateful that you joined in for us to pray. May God himself reward you. May God himself honor you. May God himself favor you. May God himself promote you. May God himself increase you. And make the coming year best for you. Even before the year ends. May you see his hand at work. Hey, may you enjoy a wonderful Christmas season. May you enjoy the best of God's gift to you. His son, Jesus Christ. Who is the reason for the season. And there's the time to give thanks to God always and to thank him. I love you so much. May God Himself increase you and favor you. I'm Bishop Eddie Fabian. And on behalf of myself, my family, and all the people that helped me to do the 11th hour prayers, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed new year. Hey, next year is going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful. God bless you. I love you. Bye bye.